It's Big Board Sports with Roger Weiland on 104.5 The Team. Roger Weiland with you on a uh, Wednesday. That means it is go time with Jimmy See, Patos. We're out of time. All friends man, again. Oh, man. Here we are again. Oh, boy. In the studio, oh, by the way. So, yeah, I Mark. love it. Thank you for coming. Because I know you guys like probably coming. got in late, late last night. What time no, did you in this morning. Oh, okay. okay. We, went to, we were in the 630 flight. So it's... it's um, it wasn't bad. Yeah. John's, John Eugenio is still down there. There's a lot of... We had a lot of fans at the games. Rijinsky from Amsterdam and John Williams went to Siena played and Nap came down. But... They had like fifty two people at this at this party and then another so we had a hundred people in the stands, at least, maybe hundred and fifty. I love Nap. Back. Nap's great. He could she could shoot the lights out, man. Night. God, nap. So you were you were in this game. Was I was game. listening. Was you you had a chance game. to win, right? You had a chance to win this game. I just got off the phone with a buddy of mine's you know, big time referee who was in the stands. Hey, that was a great game to watch. It's funny because our game was was a better game than the Terps Maryland game. Until the last two minutes, because I watched it when I got home. Oh my gosh. How about Herder, huh? Herder. How about his big three? And Turgeon texts me. I said, yeah, he said, hey, Herder's great. And, you know, Tom was down there, the old man. And coach, they had a, they were down by seven with one minute to go and won the game. Yeah, no, they, I saw the, but I mean, Herder's three was big. Big. It's huge. Yeah. And then I was block shot. And, and they've, but they've liked, I've been talking to, talking to Turgeon, because I'm tight with Turgeon. I've been talking to him all year about when he had him overseas. And last year, I'm like, this guy can do more than you think. And, you know, we just, we have a lot of guards. Tom, our, our, our herder, Tom, just give him a year, you know, and he'll have his chance. We just, with all the guards we have in front of him, they can both play. They know how to play. And that, like, the, they're not fouling and blocking the kid's shot. You know, a lot of guys would have, like, he just yeah. let him get it. And then he, cause we saw that. I saw the whole Van Pelt highlights because he was losing his mind because he's Scott Van Pelt's the right. greatest. Big Maryland guy. Big Maryland, big Maryland guy. guy. A Turgeon lost his mind. Yeah. He did. He went crazy. Look, at the it's end. a big game down there. And, you know, that that's like, I think I heard you, Zach, saying on the, well, down the road, that's like an on the road win. That's why we wanted to beat the NIT champs. George Washington's in Atlanta 10. Right. They're going to come in fifth or sixth, fourth. May, I mean, they could win it. I'm not saying anything against them, but they're not the eighth. They picked eighth. I looked at the league. They're coming in fourth, fifth, or sixth. They're, They're talented. They got a really good defensive player. They got Jared Cena, the guard who transferred from yep. Seton Hall. But Kavanaugh's the man. Kavanaugh was here. And Javion held his own with him. You know, we missed a couple free throws, but we got to rebound better. I watched the tape. You know, you know how it is last night. You watch tape till two in the morning and we have to rebound by committee. We were excellent gang rebounding team the last two years. It was all in. We just think Javion and Brett are going to get every rebound. We miss Levon dearly. We missed him on the trip actually is a little bit of his fun. He's a kid from there. But we missed a couple. At the end of the game, LeVon makes some really good decisions inbounding the ball. LeVon can get rebounds, though, for a three-man. Our guards aren't rebounding enough. and That's why you play them, to find out. But you like, you like your toughness of your team last night. No, it was a good game. You know, it was, look, Will went out and beat Penn State, and they played Cincy tough. These games, we're not supposed to win these no. games. They pay us to go down there. The odds of winning, I think, are 4%. Like, Penn State... Since he paid Will to be in his tournament, Kansas and GW paid us to be in their tournament. We go to Kansas next, but it was really good. The, the refs were really way like we had Final Four refs, and because they're the ACC and the A10 run, we just happened to be right down the street from the most exciting game in the country. They were six blocks away, you know. So, but it was, it was over two grand in there. It was a really good, really good time, really good event, and but we wanted to win the game. But on the other hand, it was better than practice. What did you what did you take away from from what you saw from your team last night? Same, like I said, we're we're doing a lot of good things when we drive the ball. Good things happen when we go inside. We're not shooting the three as well as we'd like. Maybe we should go inside more, but I'm going to have to work on that as a coach. You know, it's 2016. You can you have to ask nicely if you'll please throw the ball inside. So that's what I do. But we have to. Javion shooting really well. Brett was a little tired. Brett's knees are hurt. You know, he's not going to be as good back to back games. But Kavanaugh and, and, and their big guys were good, and Toro, who played in the City Rocks, and they got a kid, Jordan Rowland, who was really good from up here, and Syracuse, he's off the bench. So they, they had a good eight. We had a good eight. It was Like I said, it was a good game. We had a chance to take the lead, but we missed a few free throws. But it's like we make them in practice. I don't know. We make them in practice. We made them last game. But we have to get to the line a little more, and that means stop shooting threes. So we will we will take a few less threes. I would like to see us once in a while say, like, I'm not going to shoot this three. I'll swing it to Zach, and he'll throw it inside. we got to do a little more of that. So Fort. what's the itinerary now? You get a quick turnaround here out to Kansas. Off to Kansas. Here we go. You know, But it's a great trip because we have Charter Jet, and we're taking. We're playing Kansas. We're not playing a Division Three team. 
<laughs> hey, I listen to I, your show. I don't think any. I, I listen. I'm just I, kidding. No, I know, but I don't think anybody's thrilled about this. I Look, really. they do it all over the country. I, I understand why you do it for one game. A lot of teams do it when you're going into a break. I would do it coming out of a break. I would play one if I could. I, I would play Skidmore, but because I think at least there'd be some interesting yeah. Yeah. parties involved. I like your St. Rose theory. St. Rose would be fun. Well, that's a tough game because he's got they, they get scholarships. They right? do. That, the old yeah. Dean Smith answer. They got scholarships too. Right. Um, now this is, Jimmy, this is either league. Either the league has to stop it, or they're going to do it because every Vermont's doing. Everybody's oh, everybody doing. Yeah, three. three the guys schedule. are getting fired. They want that one win that says, "Hey, they want a one win." It's it's hard. The more you win at Albany, the harder it is to get home games. New Hampshire could get games four years ago. They they've been getting better now. No one will play them. I almost want to put us all in a hat and say NCAA schedule us. I know that will never happen. Because you got to sign up for these, like, if you want a guy to come, you got to sign up for like a three for one and stuff like that. that so, they, people don't they won't realize that. Anymore, Zach. I don't think they won't come to Will. You know, Will's gone four years in a row winning postseasons. We've had two twenty win campaigns. They know this is a tough place to play. The Times Union Center. I, I actually don't think one division three is bad. More than that, I don't really get it. You know, because you play thirty one games and you got to travel all the time, and no one will come on the road. And the BCSs are just not coming up here anymore. So now we're down to try and get the Atlantic Ten Conference USA to come in. I go for the level of us, the top teams: Vermont, Albany, Hofstra, Bucknell won their league. Florida. I go for the top of the mid majors. That's what John and I have. They just won't. I've asked BC, I've asked Northwestern. We've Will's tried to get guys two for one. Bayheim won't come here, even though this is the last time he won the national title. You started in Albany. They yep. won't come. They they can't afford that little RPI loss is their excuse. But you watch some of these games. They're paying. They're paying eighty thousand dollars. Some of these BCS schools to teams to come in that are bad teams. There's two thousand people in the stands, so you lose the money, and some of them actually lose, like UConn did, or Boston College did. When we could have played them, we would have come for like less money or yeah. two. For, I like two for one. I got to sit down, with Will, in the postseason and after the season and think about like I'd like two for one, or maybe that's what you do a double header. Like we'll play in the Times Union and Albany will play in the Times Union. We'll both play two other teams. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. And then we have to return two, but I'm not doing four for one because then I'll just take the money. I was right. gonna say because some of these teams are actually saying three or four for one. Like, yeah, well then we'll just take the three times eighties, two hundred forty grand. I mean, right. we got to run our com- we got to run our company too. But that's another thing I would like a double header where we don't actually play each other. Everyone, I still want to play each other. Don't get me wrong, but. I definitely want to keep playing each other. And that's, let's switch topics. There's all these articles now. Why doesn't Maryland and Georgetown play every year? And they're already both saying it was a great game. It was a great series. Both games were great, but we're not sure we're going to play anymore. I don't know. Coming off the uh, loss last night at George Washington. Played well, though. Chances to win that game. And now, quick turnaround and off to Kansas before we get a scouting report of the Jayhawks. Let's uh, open up some phone lines here, and uh, we welcome Chris from Albany to Big Board Sports. Good morning, Chris. You're on with Coach Patsos. Good morning, guys. Uh, Coach, just a quick question for you, and, and then I'll hang up and listen to what you have to say, but um, I thought at the beginning of the game, our shot selection was uh, well, not horrible, but could could have been a little better. I thought we should have got the ball down a little more to Javion and Brett and started with them on uh, the offense. I just thought that we played a little out of sync for the first five, six minutes, um, even though we did have the early lead. I think we were up two or three uh, about five minutes into the game, but I thought we could have led larger, especially with um, GW turning the ball over and whatnot. Um, but my question to you is, how do we get Brett and, and JV on involved more? And do you think the offense is going to start with them, or do you, do you think it starts with our guards? Because we do have experience um, you know, with Marquise and uh, Nico. I think you should come to practice tomorrow, Chris. You're in charge tomorrow. Because if you're looking for an argument, you've called the wrong number. Um, we have to get the ball inside. I did make one comment at halftime that a freshman of ours had taken five shots and Brett Bisping took one. Javion got it a lot. We run a lot for Javion. And, and to be honest with you, he's he took 18 shots well-deserved. Um, Brett, Brett's a facilitator. One of the things Brett does to do is demand the ball a little more. You know he's kind of a he's kind of a face up four. He doesn't. Brett does all his work on the glass. They were big. This guy Kavanaugh's good. They got a center from Florida who's really good. He filed out. They had a Toro who's a City Rocks kid from St. Bex. He's another big guy. They had four bigs. So our three bigs got a little hurt on the rebounding. 
but we do have to throw the ball in. It's only the second game. And Cornell, and the, I cannot talk about the Columbia scrimmage because I get in trouble. I don't know why. But they, Damon College, Mike, um, from Canisius, Damon, Columbia, Cornell, they play the Princeton style. They spread you out. The bigs are the passers from the top of the key. We're more grinded out, running, pressing, throw it inside. So all of a sudden we played a team. So in other words, we learned a lot from last night. But what you said was excellent. The book, I like inside-out offense. That's how you get to the line more. If you're closer to the basket, your shots, you'll probably get more offensive rebounds. We have to grind and hustle. Marquise is a great rebounder for guard. He says right in the paper that he will, we have to rebound more. Khalil's a freshman. Nico takes a lot of shots. Nico's a volume shooter. Make sure everybody understands. I don't mind him taking a lot of shots. But there are times on the tape. Last night was the most evident I've seen on the tape of guys being wide open and us not throwing the ball. And that's why it's called coaching. And I have to judge that. And there was no yelling. Everybody's being very positive. It was a good trip, a good game. They're a really good team, but I wanted to win. We have to throw the ball inside. Now let's take our NBA. There's LeBron James, who's a much better inside player than people know about, but everyone thinks he fires three. Steph Curry, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant. These guys are firing threes. And, you know, I hate to say it, but stuff kind of trickles downhill. That's what yeah. they're seeing. So they think, let's all fire. So anyways, I'm with you, Chris. I think that we totally have to get back to the, getting the ball inside. And I'll run the flex to two play, even though it's kind of an old school offense, if that's what we have to do. But I want to give the champ players a chance to learn. Cornell was a really good game. They, they shot tough threes. You know, they made tough threes. Morgan and Hatter, they played really good against us. They're really good, GW. That was on the road. You know, it was a tough environment. And the first four minutes, we did take some bad shots. So I, I really appreciate you calling, and I'm trying to learn, too. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate the call. 476-1045. 476-1045. Jimmy Patso's in the studio every Wednesday here on Big Board Sports. I mean, now you go Kansas. What kind of scouting report do you have on Kansas? I'm shopping at Huck Finn's for a few minutes before I think about that. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to go see Sperber at Huck Finn's. They're one of the sponsors of our show. I'm going to get on the Playland for half an hour. Um, they're big. They're going to go inside. I mean, they won. They beat Duke last night. The guy Mason, we know, he's Frank one Mason. of the top he's, guards. Whew. They got one of the best freshmen who's who's like an automatic lottery pick already. Yeah, Josh right? Jackson. Josh Jackson. So, But you go into Fog Allen Fieldhouse and we're chartering a plane there. But we're playing Asheville on Sunday and they went to the NCAA back to our level. They won the Big South. Yeah. That's like playing Albany. That's going to be a really good team. That's like playing Sienna, Iona, Monmouth. That's a tough game. So we have two tough games, chance to get better. Great trip, though. Fog Allen, Scott Van Pelt thinks it's better than Cameron. I, I always pick Cameron. That's a great setting. I was there with you, Albany, many years ago. It's, 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 it's bigger really. than Cameron, and it's real, and then we get to do that. And then we get to Asheville with the Biltmores, but I want to play really well against Asheville. we got to get a little healthy. we got two games in three days. Then we come home for Pine Bluff on Wednesday, which is craft beer night. So get all your friends on Wednesday, get together for the holidays before Thanksgiving, and come to the Times Union Center and see us play Arkansas because that's that's the first five games. And whether three of them are on the road and it's in D.C. Yeah. or at the NIT Champ and Atlantic 10 team, playing Kansas, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Do you, like, let yourself have a moment as a coach? And personally, just, just you personally, do you ever, like, let yourself have a moment when you'll be there uh, this weekend and, like... Holy crap! I'm I'm coaching against Bill Self at, at Kansas. Yeah, and I know Bill. I was unfortunately I lost a recruit. It was us and them for Darren Williams, who went to Illinois. It was us and them, Maryland, and them. They they got him, and I knew, got to know Self really well. Good guy. Yeah. He, good Gillespie. That's what I assistant. hear. That's what I hear. One of the good ones. Well, he he lobbied to have us play the last two years. Unfortunately, we weren't going to play Duke, and Shishovsky said you're opening with Siena. Good name, TV. This is their opener. They said we're opening with Siena. I wanted them to play Arkansas Pine Bluff. They said no go. They pay the money. Yeah. That's how these tournaments work. These guys know that. I always ask the question when I go on the road to some of these big programs. I ask the local media, how is it dealing with him? And in this what case, say? Oh, yeah. with self, unbelievable. Right? Like, really, really good. Like, he like gets what we're doing and he tries to help us and he welcomes us and he like That's why they get 16,000 every game. He thanks us for covering the program. I'll almost guarantee you that all big time coaches don't operate that way. Very few. I will say that. So when I heard that about Bill Self, I was like So it's cool. good. So you cool. want to go there and like, yeah. like you're going to take the you know, we got pictures in the locker room. We read the locker room, you know, it's Wisconsin, it's Duke, it's Memphis. And that's how it's good. And that helps recruiting. And next year we play Memphis and Louisville. That's always on the schedule. That's already on the schedule because they're in the tournament. Yep, that's with, in that tournament. It's yep, in the yep. tournament. So, 
But I wish we could get Memphis and Louisville to come here and play us in Albany in a doubleheader, but it's not going to happen. So maybe Syracuse is our best bet. But So Mark Singles, your boy, just sent a tweet out. Oh, what's he tweeting now? He says... I know he's not tweeting that he's out clothes shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Singles, <Sengler, laughs> he says, this could be entertaining again. Patsos with at Roger Wyland and at Buys Line, a.k.a. Will Brown Jr. <laughs> that was last week. We've moved on. By the way, it's out of love that I talk about Albany a lot. Gattuso, get that win to go 6-5, and five, right? Yeah, that was, was I wasn't even on that game, but Zach had that five New Hampshire five win. 6-4. Uh, and four. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. so we go 7-4. Seven seven okay, the kid, Elijah E.B. Token Hanks, he looked like an NFL running back this past week. Goes nice. can, they make, can they make it? Can they make it? Long shot. They can. It's a long shot. They, they usually take three from that tournament, right? Uh, 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 from the CAA. Three or four. New Hampshire was a 7-4 and four team last uh, year and made it. New Hampshire has gone to 12 straight postseason appearances, and Albany just and ruined that beat streak. Them. Right. Good. Yeah, they, they will not. So we got to be Stony Brook, the Seawolves. They said, we got to beat them. Ooh, I, hey, I'm going to so good. I have said that I stand up for Albany football. <laughs> no, Benson, we're all, we all get along good. That's why. It was just good. You freaked out Will last week. He texted me like right afterwards. Like, well, what do you mean we're not? Not playing anymore in there, but right? hey, it's three years. We'll just get through it. I said, yeah. It was just good radio. It's all up. Oh, it's cool. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Right. Grow up, everybody. And, Stop taking everything so literal. And and, and 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 Roger and I talked after. We're like, hey, look, we got to remember, we're talking about nineteen-year-old kids playing a sport. Like look, this is this, this is, is fun. But this I is, do think that Maryland and Georgetown need to keep playing. Yeah, Xavier and Cincy play like UCLA and, and USC and this, but they got to keep playing. And like that's why we got the, we we have a good thing. Be careful getting rid of good things like that, you know, because now. That's that's where it's at down there. People are already depressed that they're not going to play because it was a really good game. Just tell Bayheim to come here and play us once, you know. Just we'll we'll go two for one. He doesn't leave the Carrier Dome for like the first two. No, we're only like two hours away, you know. I mean, come on. And he, and he did come through here to win a national championship, right? right? But anyways, it's Kansas is going to be really fun and it's good for the team. But we have to we we got to play, you know. Levon, this is Levon's last game, but like Herder's going to play, and I might give I might give guys some set minutes early to see what we can do, you know, kind of give everybody a chance. But then Asheville's a huge game, and then and then the Arkansas Pine Bluff game at home the night before Thanksgiving, and then the next swing starts, you know? And it seems like Marquise Wright is off to a good start. He here. is, player of the week. But he's, you know, a little guy. He's like Iverson, so he gets banged around. We need somebody else to help him. And I, I think we're, we're, when LeVon, LeVon has had a really good fall, I'm not just talking about missing his, he does a little of everything, but he had a really good fall. And then Khalil and Santi, and they're all new and stuff like that. Will we play Sammy Friday? But... You know, we're, we, you know, we're just, we're, lear, we're, we're a work in progress. And it's about the, the games in March, whether you're at Albany or here. No, we yeah. have three games in March of the time Union. But I'm really worried about January and February, and this helps us get ready. Yeah, I, I think you've got the right philosophy on that. And who knows what will happen in Kansas. Uh, hang in there, right? Hang around. Take it every media time every, out. Yeah, Is that like how that four works? Minutes, four, it's four minutes at a time. And our guys will be fired up to the... they they, they really, got to be pumped at the They were pumped right? to play at GW. I actually think some of the reason we took too bad of shots is some guys got out there and were all excited. You know, their families were there in the A-10. And you got to live with it, you know, because we're trying to, like, win the MAC. I'm worried about the MAC games, but... This schedule will prepare us. Great seeing you guys, and I'll be in next Wednesday. Sounds good. Thank you, Coach. Thanks a lot, Appreciate Jimmy. it. That's uh, Jimmy Patsos.